Hi, it's Nicola for Wingle. We're at London Olympia for the Walker Stalker 2017 event. We're talking to fans about all things Walking Dead and hopefully see some real life walkers. <laughs> I've never been at anything like this before and it just it's amazing it's so good so it's such so a good, good atmosphere as well like everyone's talking to each other people are like reenacting scenes so it's a really great day out for like the full family as well i've been doing the 10 step challenge where i try to attempt to move 10 steps without getting my picture taken i failed miserably one of the ladies with us is wearing a wedding dress so if you see her get her she's got an awesome selfie where she's snuck around the back of daryl and has a, yeah, exactly, like just walk past the whole queue, snuck around the back and just got a selfie with him. We were very cheeky. <laughs> we walked past all Norman's guards and he saw us and he took a picture and then he took a picture on my phone with us. We have met Tom Payne, who plays Jesus. We've just met Austin Emilio, yeah. is it? That plays Dwight. Dwight. <laughs> um, we've met Josh McDermott and Michael Cutlets, who are my favourites. I'm going to meet, got Seth and my boy David. I've met Jeffrey. Hey everybody, how are we all doing? Begin with, hello, I am Ethan. And then proceed with your question. I think it's the only zombie TV show I actually watch. It's unique, there's not really many other things like it and it's good, so why wouldn't you watch it? When they announced it as a show, I was all behind it. I read some of the comics and I was like, yes, so from day one for me since I started dating him, so, like, five years. <laughs> the, the actors, the uh, cast, everybody that's in it, they just, they just keep showing your toes all the time. It's like <laughs> the, the story concept as well, like, it's not always just about the zombies, it's the walking dead as it's the living dead. Like, it's more about their emotion, how they're going through it now, and you see that more in the seasons now. It's not always just like, Ugh. The zombies bring people in, uh, but then you stay for the stories and the characters you've been with for so long as well. And it's nice to see them develop over time, and we've seen characters um, like Rick change drastically. So all the characters develop and change, and that's why I think it's interesting. I think everyone hates Negan at one point, and then now loves him because he's just a badass anyway. Like, so. His character's absolutely awesome. Yeah, I'd say. You know, one yeah. minute, like I say, he's, he's having a laugh, and the next minute, he's so serious and beating crap out of people. You know? Like we said, like I want to hit, I want to hit Dale Dixon. See? <laughs> See? I can't say that! Yeah. We've been following the saviors for the last eight years, and then the survivors come in. I guarantee you'd be like, well, these guys suck, these survivors. And you might be questionable on Dwight, but you would totally love Negan and Simon. Trending on Twitter because she leaned with him, and now they're missing I, I, I was waiting like, for Alex and I this first time. You know what? You're on Twitter. And I was like, eh, what? So me? And it's possible I missed Simon and Mrs. Okay. Negan leaning back on Twitter. <laughs> so that's what fans think of the show this has been our coverage of walker stalker 2017 i hope you enjoyed it now i'm off to meet daryl